my nanny, which was my dad's mom, uh, and the one that uh, killed a snake with a high heel. I mean, she's, this is a tough woman. Uh, she loved my previous golden retriever named Summer. Uh, I also love that dog to the extent that I called this dog Cedar for a long time, not Summer. Um, and then my kids said I had to stop doing that. Summer. Yeah, not Summer. So this dog, Cedar, is not the one I really like. So this is, that's not Summer. Okay. Not Summer. Go outside. You got it now? Yeah. 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 I won't do it to anybody. Well, okay, yeah, I'll do it. Where's Bob Millard? <laughs> Not Linda. <laughs> Not Linda. Uh, why don't you come help out a little bit? All right, so Not Summer was amazing for a lot of reasons, but why my nanny loved that dog uh, uh, is Summer would not get underfoot. She would talk about that every time she came to visit us multiple times. This dog is the best dog because she doesn't get underfoot. And of course, uh, when you're in the 80, your 80s, a dog getting underfoot is kind of terrifying. Falling when you're in the 80s, maybe breaking a hip, is a matter of literally life and death. So not getting in the way made this dog great. My firstborn uh, was uh, one of those, uh, he was a shadow for me for the longest time, like, you know, six inches, uh, like just always right there, and like I was always stepping on him. One of the worst uh, outcomes of that was I was boiling water, and your worst fear, I, I turned, supporting the sink, and there he was, and you know, got boiling hot water on him. Um, but luckily it didn't, uh, like, he was okay. I'm like, go get in some cold water, kid, hose it off. <laughs> Now, he was fine, um, and uh, oftentimes uh, with kids, uh, if, you're, if you ever build things, tools are very exciting. You know, it's not always the most helpful, a bunch of little hands, like, trying to get involved in, like, the building pro does not speed it up. Uh, many hands do not always make, like, what, light work, quick work, light work, no. Um, and uh, so you don't know anything about, yeah, we got a father son here. He's still in the way. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Um, but of course, uh, sometimes those in the way uh, is, in fact, the most precious part of relationships. Uh, I think I've shared this before, but this is an illustration that, you know, I think back on, I hold on to as a reminder when I'm not quite getting it about, wait, no, uh, this kid helping me build, that, that's the point. That's more important than my time, uh, which I often do to see like when they're like, this will take about an hour with two people. I'm like, I can beat that with one person. <laughs> okay, that's probably not, there's no one really that cares. And so maybe it's more important to use this as a time to spend with my kid. So the uh, thing that uh, I think of when I'm blowing it is I was at the Atlanta airport and a whole family had come to pick up uh, their dad and uh, he's got the luggage and his daughter, who was about mm, four years old, was uh, shouting, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy! And uh, he kind of stepped around her. She was in the way to put the luggage in the car. And I'm like, like sending like these vibes like, you're blowing it. Pick her up. Hug her. See her. See her as not in the way, but in the way. In the way of uh, what we're called to be, to love. Now, I've done that as well. So I don't want to, uh, well, not that exact scene, but it's... Uh, a lesson for us to catch ourselves when sometimes we do that maybe in more subtle ways. Uh, when uh, to my, Trish and I went to marriage counseling and uh, the therapist uh, said to get a, get a gold crayon and mark on your calendars uh, your date night. And 
time that you're going to spend together. I'm like, okay, that's not happening. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe I was, I was like, yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to do that. Go crayon. Uh, we actually never, I don't think we ever did it. Um, I, but uh, his point was uh, that it's, a, it's on your list of things to do. Like for me, uh, sometimes like time with family is after I've completed every other thing that I'm supposed to do. Any other responsibility I have to anyone, and we do all that. Oh, good, there's two minutes left for y'all. Oh, you're asleep. Oh, well. Rather, instead, maybe, maybe it's moving that up the sequence, moving uh, time, energy into things that maybe are more important or just as important. Now, Jesus is using the child here as an illustration, uh, I believe, uh, for more than just people under seven years old, more than just a little child. A child represents uh, a person who has no power, the most vulnerable. A child in that time uh, was lucky uh, to make it to 16. Uh, first, you had to survive uh, the first days and not being uh, pushed out uh, to be exposed to the elements and die. You know, infanticide was a thing, and especially for little girls. And then just a very dependent and vulnerable group who is most at risk in our communities who uh, is most dependent on uh, response from the community uh, so that it might uh, thrive. Who uh, are the least of these? Thinking about children still, I think about some schools uh, where we're not quite there where we're not providing what children really need. And about the homeless, uh, that, uh, who is so vulnerable, and yet we don't have, there's such a shortage of affordable housing. It's not a new thing. We keep ignoring it. So put that on your calendar with a gold crayon. Now, I'm from South Carolina. I think some of y'all say this too. Uh, a gold crown? Yeah, crayon. Crown. I was looking for a box of crowns. One time in Alaska, I had the whole team looking for crowns for like an hour, but they thought it was crowns. And I was like, no, it's crowns. <laughs> and then like, I was like, I found them. They're like, those are crayons. I'm like, no, they're not. They're crowns. Well, almost as cool as that underfoot and in the way, the gold crown is the crown, right? That is uh, the treasure uh, in all of this. Because when we receive the child, when we serve, whoever wants to be first must become last and serve all. When we do that, that's when we receive Jesus. And in doing so, receive God who sent Jesus. So that is the gold crown, right? I mean, that's where we're, uh, what could be more rewarding than those two moves? That's the crown. So the things that sometimes seem like obstacles, I don't have time for you, for this. I don't have time uh, to visit you. I know you're sick, and, uh, I, but I have uh, a bulletin to revise again. <laughs> uh, I have all these things that get in the way. There's three passages uh, in Mark that uh, talk about receiving. And uh, this Greek word, dekamai, is one of my favorite top five Greek words. Uh, and um, because to me, uh, it's, it's a, a way of talking about fall afresh on me. You know, to receive. Um, it's, it's yes, it's our yes to this loving God. 
And, um, but sometimes uh, that's not received. And so in chapter 6, Mark uh, uses the word, uh, he says, when you go to, go to these people, when he sends them out to go to these other towns and to witness, uh, if uh, they do not receive you, if they do not hear you, do not receive or do not hear you, shake the dust off your feet. All right, so when Jesus now brings up receive again, it is uh, in contrast, or let's remember where else they've heard that. And now uh, it's essentially saying, if you don't receive this child, shaking the dust off my feet, because that means you did not hear me. You are not getting it. And boy, are they not getting it. He just told them the Messiah must suffer and die. And uh, you know, th- the segue there is, all right, let's not talk about that. And then, uh, all right, I uh, just want to know who the greatest is. It's like, what are you not getting? Like, if this then is the example of what the greatest is, then this, of course, is the crown that we're invited to wear. Uh, When you welcome them in the name of the Lord. uh, This morning, I'd like us to think about when we hear in the name of the Lord, in the way of the Lord. Surely that's, the name is uh, implying this way. The name uh, is emblematic of the way. So uh, when you preached on, when Margaret preached on, uh, this other person is casting out demons in the name of, in your name, and we don't like that. He is not following us. That's just hysterical where they go with the, oh, really? You're going to go with the uh, first person plural there. He's not following us. In the name of. And had they thought about in the way of Jesus uh, they might have got it and not had Jesus have to explain to them that whoever's doing this, this is good. You know, if he's not against us, he is for us. If he's doing this in the way, then he can do it in my name all day. That's how Jesus sometimes had to emphasize all day. So, uh, the golden crown. It's where the treasure is. Uh, And so I invite you to put on the crown, mark it on your calendar, to look for ways to receive uh, children, the least of these. uh, And maybe next time someone, something seems inconvenient and an obstacle, you might see it as an opportunity. May we be so bold. Amen.